Hello, America. I'm Brown Hollihan, editor in chief of The Truth Gazette here today in Mobile, Alabama, with legendary conservative commentators Diamond and Silk. Ms. Diamond, Silk, thank you so much for being here. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much for wanting to interview us. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm big. Y'all are big mentors when I'm doing. I love your conservative voice and just standing up for those in the conservative party and the platform you've been given. Oh. So thank you so very much. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay. okay. You both got your foot in the political door, so to say, in 2015, when you announced that you'd be moving from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party, which at the time was the majority of African Americans' political affiliation. What caused you both to make this change? Well, you know, to be honest, we've always been conservative in our thinking. Mm -hmm. We just tend to vote Democrat. But we found this go around just because you black, it didn't mean you had to vote Democrat. That's right. And so what we did was we got off of what we call that Democrat plantation. We switched our party to Republican to vote for President Donald J. Trump. He was then Donald J. Trump. Uh -huh. Because we saw a businessman that had the master plan to make America great again. We wanted something different. We were tired of career politicians. We wanted a businessman. So. And you have to also remember that uh, within the black community, uh, a, lot of, a lot of it was uh, a mindset that was basically push, pushed off into the black community to make you think that this is the way you had to vote or else. Right. Um, so it was all control mindset, but whenever we saw, um, at the time, Donald Trump, we saw something different. Mm -hmm. And we saw someone that had a solution to a lot of the different problems that was ailing the black community and ailing all community here in America. And so that's the reason why we just, we switched because we wanted something different. It was no more about the party. It was about the person. And who could do the job. That's right. Yes. And along with what you were saying, why do you believe that some African Americans believe they are bound to the Democratic Party while really the Republicans are doing more for them? Well, see, that comes back, baby, from when you was even thought of. <laughs> That's right. You're talking about the Jim Crow era that the Democrats put in place. Mm -hmm. So they fixed it where you couldn't get what you needed. You wasn't able to attain the American dream during right. the Jim Crow era. The mm -hmm. Democratic Party fixed it like that. They did that for a reason. So you will always vote for them from here on out for the right. next 300 years. That's right. Because the first thing people say, well, at least if I'm a Democrat, I'll be able to eat. Mm -hmm. That was the stigma back then. But we know that now you can eat up under a Republican. President Donald J. Trump is a Republican. People have gone from poverty to prosperity. Right. You know, from welfare to the workforce. And that's happening up under a Republican. So a lot of these things that's been put in place, they were put in place way back before we were even thought of. Mm -hmm. And that is the mindset. It's like a so generational curse. It's a time. generational curse. Yes. So if your mama mama did it, her mama mama did it, if they just pass it on and on that's until right. somebody broke break the cycle. And I think right now we are really truly breaking the, breaking cycle, the cycle. Because I know that you see a lot of voices coming out now. But we, we was what we call the revolution. We was in that fight. Mm -hmm. We was in the revolutions telling people that you don't have to vote for a system that kept handing you crumbs. That's right. Now that you see all of these other influencers coming out, making videos and becoming popular, this is the evolution. Evolution, yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. People are evolving into something great. And President Trump is truly making America greater than we've ever seen it before. And, and another thing, just to piggyback off of what she said, it's like we're giving them permission. They know that it yeah. is okay to speak your truth. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be silent anymore. You don't have to allow anybody to dictate to you what you can and cannot say because you have your own mind. You can think for your own mm -hmm. self. You have your own mouth. You can speak for yourself. So we don't have to be controlled anymore by the Democrat tactics. Mm -hmm. Y'all have been censored on social media numerous times for speaking the truth. How do you think we can end social media censorship across the board for both parties? Well, you know what? It's going to probably take us getting our own platform. That's right. Which we are sort of working on right now, mm -hmm. secretly. Yes. But it's going to take that because, you know, back in the day, People were being discriminated against based on the color of their skin. Mm -hmm. Today, they're being discriminated against based on the color of their politics. That's right. Which is so sad. They're being silenced. They're being, you have these here social media platforms acting as though they're the dictators. Mm -hmm. This is tyranny that we are seeing right now. That's right. See, because when you got three or four liberals, mm -hmm. and these happen to be white liberals, controlling the whole world, that's a problem. Because right. now they get to tell you what you can and can't see how you should and shouldn't think, what you can and cannot hear. That's a problem. Yeah. And so anything conservative, they want to shut it out. They want to shut it out. And also, we don't fit their narrative. Mm -hmm. 
we're two black women, we're two black conservative women, we're two black strong conservative women who do not fit the left narrative, the Democrats narrative, because they feel like we're supposed to be rooting for a Democrat. Right. And here we are rooting for a Republican. Mm -hmm. and a businessman. A, a businessman who happened to be a white Republican because for so long the Democrats have taught the community, especially black America, that the white people, white people are supposed to be racist. But the people that taught us that were white people. <laughs> there was white liberals, okay? So with this stigma that they continue to push out there, what Diamond and, 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 and I have did is basically said, no more to that, we're gonna uh, research this out ourselves. Mm -hmm. right. And that's what we did. We went did our own research to see what was what, instead of allowing somebody to tell us this is what it is, and then we have to believe it and go along with it. We don't just go along with the status quo. We go against it to see exactly what's happening, what it is, because you're not going to hoodwink us anymore. And another thing is, if Diamond and Silk fit the stereotype, uh -huh. if we were sliding down and up and down the pole, uh -huh. drinking alcohol like a fish, beating each other up on television, because that's a stereotype, gangsters and thugs, because that's how they stereotype black people. Right. We will be celebrated by Democrats. We will be celebrated by the left. But because right. we tell you, you need to stand up for the flag. You need to not tear down the statues. Never right. forget your history. Oh, they don't like that. They don't like, they don't like You need to respect our police officers. That's right. They don't like you being patriotic. And by they, the way, go ahead. fish don't drink alcohol. They drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. But you just see what I'm saying, though. I'm just saying, so, so they have black people boxed in this is all you can be that's right and if you go outside of that mm -hmm. you a coon a mr stroller all, all of these time, all, all of these, these type of names. names but see you don't get to name me we already know we who know we who are, we, are we was built and we was made for this that's right there was an old saying i don't even know if you old enough to remember sticks and stones may break my bones but names will never hurt me never they can call us all kinds of names, but what you won't call me is stupid or for continuing to vote for the same system that keeps handing me crumbs. That's right. Go Wonderful. ahead. Both of you also outspokenly share my point that the president did not collude with Russia and that the Mueller investigation was a witch hunt. Now that the report has come out proving that President Trump did not collude with Russia, what do you have to say to the whining liberals that won't accept the violence? They need to stop whining and yeah. get to do their jobs. Yeah. But you have to understand, baby, listen. This is the media. Mm -hmm. This is their tactics. Mm -hmm. The media is in cahoots with this Democrat Congress and even some in the Republican Party that are called the deep state snakes. Yeah. It's so sad. Yeah. It's all been a cahoots. They're supposed to pick and choose who they want to be president. I beg to differ. You don't get to elect. We've already elected. You don't get to select, reselect. We've already elected a president. That's right. You see what I'm saying? And so you have to keep that before them. That's but right. this is all a coup. That's all a coup. A distraction. And if I had something to say, I would say, ding dong, the wicked witch hunt of a host is dead. It's gone. Um, president Trump already has over 20 opponents for the 2020 presidential election. What do you think the president needs to focus on if he wants to win again in 2020? Listen, continue to do what you're doing now. Right. Bringing us prosperity, mm -hmm. more jobs. Um, working for the American people, putting Americans and the American people first. Right. Because while they continue to play the race card, we need to continue to play the Trump card so we can win, win, win. That's right. And, and, and when I look at it, you know, he is already focusing on what needs to happen. His record speaks for itself. But those 20, uh, 20 something plus individuals that's running for president probably have over 250 years combined together of experience and have done nothing for the American people. President Trump, two years, two years of experience, two years work done, more done in two years than all 250 yeah. some years combined amongst those 20 Let years. your record speak, speak for it. That's right. Let his life and his record speak for himself that's and it right. will, and I believe people are gonna march to the polls and exactly. vote for President Donald J. Trump. Exactly. Um, when traveling the country on your chit chat tour, what political concerns do you hear from your audience the most? People not being able to speak their voices right. because they're afraid that they're going to be boxed in and called a racist. Right. But we're not racist. We're realists. That's right. We're realists. We see the reality of what's going on. That's right. And it has got to stop. It's time to put America and Americans first. That's right. Definitely. Well, thank you all so very much for joining in today. Thank you, Dominic Silk, for sitting down. I know y'all got to go on. So we'll wrap yeah. it up. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank Make you. sure to visit chitchattour.com to see when Dominic Silk will come to a city near you.